Hey guys, my name is I, and today, welcome to a special video. There's one more day to Halloween. We even I upload this. Um, but, yeah, so we're going to talk about the origin of Batman. And when I say origin, I mean going back all the way to May of 1939 to when World War II was about to happen. I believe so. I'm sorry, Mr. Hash, I'll forget this wrong. It's me. This is being shown in history class, by the way. Anyways, let's get right into this video. I'm pretty excited to do this. In May of 1939, Batman was created by Bob Kane and Bill Finger. Batman was inspired by the Greek god Apollos, I believe I'm saying that right, and the movie character Zaro. His origin is one of the most well-known origins in comic book history. After leaving the theater from seeing the mark of Zaro, young Bruce Wayne and his parents went to the dark alley as a shortcut to meet their driver sooner than possible, since Bruce Wayne wanted to leave the theater after having a phobia from bats and seeing those bats in the theater. While walking in the alley, a man from the shadows named Joe Chill appeared and robbed the Waynes at gunpoint for the wallets and jewelry, including the famous pearl necklace of Martha Wayne, which is the mother of Bruce Wayne. Then murdered them in cold blood, leaving Bruce Wayne to mourn his parents' death. Yeah. While in mourning, he traveled across the world to train in different styles of martial arts and coming back as the Gotham's brutal vigilante that terrorizes the criminals of Gotham. Batman's original costume was a black cow with a gray suit with a small bat symbol, personally not my favorite, and purple gloves. Yes, he looks very stupid. He only carried four things in his utility belt. A lockpick, batter eggs, grapple gun, and yes, a pistol. Batman did kill in his early days, but was rewritten a year later with the no gun giving being added. Oh, look at this! Missiles! Missiles? Are you bloody insane? Those could kill way more people than a gun! No, they'll just stun the bad guys. I never have gone. In the spring of 1940, Bob Kane wanted more kids to start reading his comics. So he came up with the idea in Robin. And then Batman issue one, Dick Grayson was born. It dramatically increased the sales of both adults and kids buying more comics, increasing the sales of DC Comics. The same year, one of the best and most psychotic villains of the Batman's rogues gallery ever was created, my personal favorite, the Joker. How about a magic trick? I'm gonna make this pencil disappear. Ta -da! It's... it's gone. Joker was inspired by the main character of the 1928 movie the man who laughs first drawing made him have red lips a white face green hair and some eyeshadow joker did not have an origin in that comic he just came out of nowhere which is one of the reasons why joker is so interesting he even stated in the popular alan moore comic the killing joke a wise man once told me if i was going to have an origin i'd prefer it to be multiple choice a couple of years later, Alfred was created and became the Wayne's butler after Bruce Wayne became Batman and adopted Dick Grayson. He traveled to Gotham after receiving a note from his father saying to be the caretaker of the Waynes. It wasn't until a fierce battle with Bane that Robin had helped an injured Batman into the Batcave, calling for Alfred for assistance that Alfred had found out Bruce Wayne and Dick Grayson were behind the mask of both of the dynamic duo. Batman has been in comics for 76 years and has been used all around pop culture. From the 60s show from Adams West, from the 90s animated series, to the Nolan trilogy, to the Gotham TV show, and even the new Batman v Superman movie, Dawn of Justice, which is starring Ben Affleck as Batman and taking that Dark Knight Returns storyline. <laughs> As for the creators, Bill Finger now also receives credit for co-creating Batman and Bob Kane recently just got a star on the Walk of Fame with director Zack Snyder showing up in the Batman v Superman Batmobile, interviewing, inter getting interviewed and answering questions about the 
late great Bob Kane. But that's really all I have for today, folks. So let me know if you guys learned something. He is one of my favorite comic book heroes ever. You can probably notice that now. But um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Did you guys learn anything? Um, personally, when I was researching, I did not know Batman had a gun, but this was a long time ago. This was like, I researched about this back in 2012, so I already knew what I was going to say. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, you guys. This is Nicholas Light, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh, rate, comment, subscribe to Nicholas Light. Oh, get to chopper. Oh, I'll do it all blue to pieces. Oh, get to chopper. Oh, pieces, boom, man. Oh.